blessings before this wonderful message from my father in the lord late archbishop bensi idaosa i'd like to share information about anointedtube.com with you the number one christian video sharing website today anointedtube.com this is a powerful site believed to be the top most Christian video sharing website in the world today. It is ranked as one of the best video sharing website according to available data. It hosts videos of preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from all around the world. You can as well share our video on all social media platforms. The World Database of Christian Precious, positively touching and changing lives around the world. It is a great Christian video sharing website. The Lord bless you. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. and you with the Idahosa World Outreach Ministry. This ministry has reached every city and town in Nigeria and across the continents of the world with the Gospel of Jesus Christ. Archbishop B.A. Idahosa is a man sent by God for our generation with a message of faith and miracle to preach, to teach, to pray, and heal the sick in the name of Jesus Christ. Be in the Miracle Center and the Faith Miracle Arena, the place for kings and the place for ordinary people, the place for nobles, the place for the distressed, the place for the afflicted, the place where God is moving in the now. As Idahosa and you comes your way today, God is going to bless you. Your needs would be met. Expect a miracle now, 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 through his servant, Reverend Dr. B.A. Idahosa. Mokshanim, 
그래서 아프리카에서는 최대의 주의 종입니다. 그런데 이분은 보니까 아프리카에서는 드물게 보는 미인하고 결혼을 했어요. 아주 부인이 굉장히 미인입니다. 삼남일녀의 아버지기도 하는 것입니다. 아들 하나, 딸 셋. 욕심은 없는 것 같아. 이제 부인께서 나와서 먼저 인사를 드리는데 어제 보니까 부인이 남편보다 설교를 더 잘하는 것 같아. 내가 어제 막 부인만 시키려 하다가 그래도 남편이 따라와서 할수 없이 중간에 중지를 시켰다고요. 마그렛. 오늘 오후에 이 자리에 서게 된 것이 큰 기쁨입니다. I want to say I bring you greetings from Africa, Nigeria. 저는 아프리카와 나이지리아 성도들로부터 인사 말씀을 여러분에게 전달합니다. I'm from Benin City in particular. What is this? From Benin City in particular. That is where we are from. 아, in Nigeria. Benin 나이지리아, 나이지리아의 Benin City in particular라는 곳에서 우리가 왔습니다. <웃음> The saints over there sent you their love. 거기에는 모든 성도들이 여러분에게 사랑을 전달합니다. This afternoon, my husband is going to minister for the power of God in his life. 여러분 오늘 오후에 저희 남편이 하나님의 권능으로 여러분에게 말씀을 전하실 것입니다. I have watched him in a lot of countries minister. 저는 어, 우리 남편이 여러 나라에 다니면서 복음을 증가하는 것을 뒤에 따라가면서 보았습니다. 매해마다 세계 여러 곳에 다니면서 말씀을 증가하는데 나는 뒤에 따라다니면서 은혜를 많이 받고 있습니다. But I want to prepare your mind down. 그러나 우리 남편이 나오기 전에 여러분 마음에 준비를 시키고 싶은 것이 있습니다. That as he speaks this afternoon, focus your attention on the Lord Jesus Christ. 여러분 우리 남편 말씀을 들을 때 우리 남편 얼굴을 쳐다보지 말고 예수님을 바라보시기 바랍니다. Because he has a miracle for you. 왜냐하면 기적은 우리 남편이 행하는 것이 아니라 예수님이 행하시기 때문인 것입니다. And your name. Is written on your miracle. 여러분의 이름이 하늘나라 기적의 책에 기록되어 있습니다. Nobody can get that miracle except you. 그러므로 아무도 여러분의 이름을 그 책에서 지울 수가 없습니다. So accept it. 그러므로 큰 좋은 일이 일어날 것을 기대하시기 바랍니다. Once again, we say a big thank you for inviting us to this great place and great. Work of God that is doing at the end of time. 다시 한번 이큰 교회 또 하나님의 큰 역사를 하는 곳에 여러분께서 우리를 청해 준 것을 감사 인사 드립니다. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. 남편이 좋아가 코가 벌렁벌렁합니다. 아니요. Okay, you are turn. Grateful to be here. 여기 와서 드라니 기쁩니다. Before I turn to the Bible, I want my family here to stand up so you can say welcome to them. 내가 성경을 펼치기 전에 나를 따라서 같이 온 우리 가족들을 여러분에게 소개하고 싶습니다. Dr. Jean Thompson, Dr. Jim Thompson, Bobo. We are very happy to have them presented to you. 예, 여기 같이 오게 된 것을 기쁘게 생각합니다. Well, I told Dr. Cho today. 제가 오늘 조 목사에게 말하기를. I didn't come to Korea to waste time. 나는 
한국에 시간을 그냥 보내기 위해서 온 것은 아닙니다. I came to take to take it home. 나는 한국에서 하나님의 역사를 많이 배웠어. 이것을 우리 중국으로 가지고 가기 위해서 왔습니다. 그렇게 말했습니다. I'm here to take it home. 그러므로 사실 오늘 또 여러분 은혜를 제가 받아서 중국으로 가져가려고 이 자리에 섰습니다. I want to challenge you to continue what God has done here. 여러분께 제가 오늘 격려해 드리고 싶은 것은 하나님이 이 자리에 일하신 것을 계속 하시기 바랍니다. When we arrived here three days ago, God asked me to talk to you that once is not enough. 제가 3일 전에 이곳에 도착했을 때 기도하는데 하나님 말씀하기를 한번 은혜 받은 것으로 만족하지 못하도록 하라 그렇게 말씀하셨습니다. Whatever God has done here already is good, but once is not enough. 여러분 하나님이 이 자리에 행하신 일은 참으로 좋은 일이지만은 한번 하나님의 이 역사로서 만족해서는 안 됩니다. God can do more. 하나님은 이것보다 더 크게 여러분을 위해서 역사해 주실 수가 있습니다. He has power to do more. 하나님은 더 역사하실 권능을 가지고 계십니다. And is willing to use you to do more. 그리고 하나님은 여러분을 통해서 더큰 역사를 하기를 원하시고 계십니다. Allow God to use you more. 하나님께서 여러분을 더 크게 사용하도록 마음을 넓히시기 바랍니다. Last night the Bible came to my heart in a new way. 어제 저녁에 제가 기도하는데 하나님께서 성경 말씀을 보여주셨습니다. The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 4. 마태복음 4장에 있는 말씀이십니다. Verse 16 is said. 4장 16절에 이렇게 기록되어 있습니다. The people which sat in darkness saw great light. 흑암에 앉은 백성이 큰 빛을 보았고 And to them which sat in the region and shadow of death light sprang up. 사망의 땅과 그늘에 앉은 자들에게 빛이 비치었도다. People who sat in darkness 어두움에 앉은 백성들이 They saw great light. 큰 빛을 보았습니다. Those who sat under the shadow of death, light sprang up. 그리고 그들의 앉은 자들에게 빛이 비치었습니다. Korea, light sprang up. 한국에 빛이 비치기 시작했습니다. Yeido, light sprang up. 여의도에서 하나님의 빛이 비치기 시작했습니다. Believers in Korea, light sprang up. 한국에 있는 성도들이 다 하나님의 빛이요 성도들이 일어나야만 하는 것입니다. This is the day of light. 오늘날의 시대는 빛을 비추는 시대입니다. This is not the time of darkness. 오늘날 시대는 흑암의 시대가 아닙니다. Jesus saw this light. 예수님께서 이 빛을 보셨습니다. Jesus walked in this light. 예수님은 이빛 가운데서 행하셨습니다. Jesus exhibited this light. 예수님께서 바로 이 빛이십니다. Jesus demonstrated this light. 예수님은 이 빛을 보여 주셨습니다. Jesus used this light. 예수님은 이 빛을 사용하셨습니다. In verse 23, the Bible said, 23절에 성경이 말씀하기를, And Jesus went about all Galilee. 예수께서 온 갈릴리에 두루 다니사. Jesus went about all, all Galilee. 예수님은 갈릴리 온 지방에 두루 다니셨습니다. For one reason, 예수님이 다닌 이유는 in Galilee teaching in their synagogue. 그는 회당에 가서 가르치시며 preaching the gospel of the kingdom. 천국 복음을 전파하시며 and healing all manners of diseases. 백성 중에 모든 병과 모든 약한 것을 고치시니라고 했습니다. The reason light came to Korea. 여러분 한국에 빛이 왔는데. The reason light came to Yeido Gospel Center. 여의도 순복음 교회 빛이 비친 이유는. Is for every member of Yeido Full Gospel Church to teach, to preach, and to heal. 여의도 순복음 교회는 모든 성도들이 이 빛을 받아 나가서 말씀을 가르치고 복음을 전파하고 병을 고치기 위한 것입니다. The power of God must return back in a new way. 하나님의 능력이 오늘날 시대에는 새롭게 역사합니다. Jesus saw this light. 예수께서 이 빛을 보셨어요. Jesus brought this light. 예수께서 이 빛을 가지고 오셨습니다. Jesus made the light to spring up. 예수님께서 이 빛이 비치게 하셨습니다. And Jesus took the power of the light. 
예수님께서 이 빛의 권능을 우리에게 주셨습니다. Teaching the gospel. 여러분 우리가 해야 될 것은 먼저 the gospel. 복음을 가르쳐야 되고 복음을 전해야 되고 I'm healing all manners. 어떤 병이든지 다 고쳐야 됩니다. The gospel is for teaching. 복음이란 가르쳐야 되고 The gospel is for teaching. 복음은 가르쳐야 됩니다. The gospel is for healing. 복음은 바로 병 고치는 것입니다. There is enough power in Yeido this afternoon to heal the whole world. 여러분 오늘 여의도 여러분 가운데 있는 하나님의 권능은 온 세계 병자를 다 고치고도 남음이 있습니다. If Jesus heal all by himself alone. 예수께서 혼자서 모든 병을 다 고쳤습니다. If Jesus preach all by himself. 예수님 혼자서 모든 사람에게 복음을 전파했습니다. If Jesus taught by himself. 또 예수님이 혼자서 말씀을 가르쳤습니다. Don't let the light go off. 이 빛을 여러분에게 주셨으니 이 빛이 꺼지지 않게 하십시오. Light has come. 빛이 여러분에게 비쳤습니다. Power has come. 하나님의 권능이 임하셨습니다. Anointing has come. 하나님의 은사가 임하였습니다. Miracle has come. 하나님의 기적이 임하였습니다. Deliverance has come. 하나님의 구원의 능력이 임하셨습니다. Light is coming. 빛이 여러분에게 임하였습니다. Let's use the light. 빛을 사용하십시오. Let's move in the light. 빛 가운데서 행동하십시오. Let's go all over soul. 서울 전역을 찾아다니십시다. Let's go all over Korea. 한국 전역을 찾아갑시다. Let's go to Japan. 일본으로 건너갑시다. Let's go to the peninsula. 베네수엘라로 건너갑시다. Let's go to the nations around. 그리고 전 세계 각지에 갑시다. Teaching the gospel. 우리가 말씀을 가르치고. Preaching the gospel. 말씀을 전파하고. And healing all manners of diseases. 온 종교의 병전자를 다 고치십시다. Support your new life with power of teaching, preaching, and healing. 이 교회 하나님이 주신 가르치고 전파하고 병고치는 권세를 계속 밀어 붙이고 계속 자라게 하십시다. What is happening here is wonderful. 여러분 이 교회 가운데 일어나고 있는 역사는 놀라운 것입니다. But what is going to happen will be bigger than this one. 그러나 장차 이 교회를 통해서 일어날 일은 지금보다 훨씬 더 큽니다. A great light is coming. 하나님으로부터 빛이 임하였습니다. A great light will spring up. 그리고 빛이 이곳에서 솟아오릅니다. Let us carry on the message with authority and power. 그러므로 이빛 가운데 하나님의 말씀을 권세 있고 능력 있게 전파하는 여러분이 되시기 바랍니다. I come to challenge this man. 나는 이곳에 조 목사에게 격려하기 위해서 왔습니다. This is the biggest church in the world to the glory of God. 여러분 이 교회가 다니엘 교회에서 세계에서 제일 큰 교회입니다. But this should not be the end. 그러나 이것으로 만족해서는 안 됩니다. What God has done in Yeido must happen in Japan. 여러분 여의도에 시작한 일은 똑같이 일본에서도 이런 역사가 일어나야만 되는 것입니다. What God has done in Yeido must happen in Philippines. 그리고 여의도에서 일어난 이 역사는 필리핀에서도 일어나야만 합니다. What God has done in Yeido must happen in Malaysia. 그리고 여의도에 일어난 이 역사는 말레이시아에서도 일어나야만 합니다. What God has done in Yeido must happen in Singapore. 이 여의도에 일어난 역사가 싱가포르에서도 일어나야 합니다. How will it happen? 어떻게 이런 일이 그곳에 일어나겠습니까? When people from Yeido we go about all peninsula. 여러분 여의도에 온 세계 주의 종들이 와서 여기에서 복음의 역사를 체험하고 자기 나라로 돌아가게 되는 것입니다. In the way Jesus did it. 그래서 거기에서 예수 그리스도의 역사를 나타내게 됩니다. These people, they, 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 there's a mighty anointing on these people here. There's a mighty anointing here. I can see that. The Lord is about to do something special in this man's life. I, I see that. In the area of business. Pick him up. I want him to get up. This Lord, man right there. Here. The Lord has been talking to him for a long time to do something. Keep, God keep to going, give you Charlie. A turn keep going, Charlie. You are going to have a turnaround in your life financially to the glory of God. Pray with him. Pray. Thank God. Pray with him, Lord. Lord, I ask that you surprise this man. I know that you don't know. With supplying power and surprises. And I thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, bless you. Amen. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Harold just told me. He knows this man. He said, you and I don't know him, but he just resigned his job. He is a, a businessman. He's about to get a surprise. That's what God told me. A surprise of supply. If this man says anything to you, believe A it. surprise of supply. I know him. God is going to surprise you, man. Go to your seats, please. God bless you. Open up your mind. God wants to bless us. When you're up against a struggle that shatters Verse 2 said, And very early in the morning, the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came on to the sepulchre at the rising of the sun. The Lord told me last night when he said, I will preach this message to tell many of you your Sabbath is passing and your sun is rising. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? Your Sabbath is past. God is going to give you a dawning of a new morning with the rising of the sun. Some of you, we are expecting sun to rise for you in the evening. But God told me, an early morning rising sun is coming to your life. If it's only two people that heard what I said, you are the one I'm talking to. A new sun is going to rise in your life. A new rising sun is coming to your life. Your sad days, your grievous days are passing and your miracle days are coming. Say yes, Lord. Say yes, Lord. Say yes, Lord. Early in the morning, Think about that. I don't know what that means in American Christianity, but in universal Christianity, in the universal Christianity, the beginning of a new life is a greater life than the end in life. There's more joy. When a baby is born, then when an old man dies. When a baby is born, that is new beginning. When an old man dies, that's the end of an era. And God asked me to tell you this afternoon, he's going to give you a new rising sun. If you hear me say hallelujah. Maybe you were not expecting it. But a brand new day is coming towards your life. Your days of grief, your days of sorrow, your days of Sabbath, your days of failure are passing and a new rising sun is coming. Listen to this. And they said among themselves, who shall roll us away the stone from the door of the sepulchre? Who shall roll us away the stone from the door of the sepulchre? Mary and Martha want to help God. Mary and Martha. Mary, the mother of James and Salome. We're asking questions. Who will help us roll away the stone from the door of the sepulchre? Listen to verse 4. When they looked, they saw. Stand up with me. Stand up with me, please. I know you are here for miracle. You have seen some you saw many last night. You've seen many this morning. But listen to the one that is going to take place from, in your life from today. The question was, who will roll away the stone for us from the door of the sepulchre? And the Holy Spirit said, turn and look. 
Somebody look to your right. Look to your right. Turn and look. Turn to your left and look. Are you looking or are you just standing still? I said, turn your head to your right. Look. Turn your head to your left and look. Now hear what the Bible says. They needed help. They, thank you for looking, Benny. They needed help. They turned and they looked. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. gets bigger ah. they turned they took their eyes from the stone they asked question who will help oh God who will help but they turned they looked they saw so what? The stone has been rolled away. The stone, the stone of your marriage, the stone of your business, the stone that sat in your progress, look and see, it has been rolled away. Look, turn, look, take your eyes, take your eyes from the sepulchre, turn your eyes from the grave, turn your eyes from the stone, look to the Lord, your stone has rolled away. Give me a big hallelujah. I said, give me a big hallelujah. It doesn't matter how big. It doesn't matter how heavy. 
the stone in your life is take your eyes off it look to the author look to the finisher look to the healer look to the miracle worker look to the life changer look for the man who died and rose again look 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 your story is gone in the name of jesus is anybody hearing me turn turn your eyes from the servant of god and turn your eyes to his master if you want your stone to roll see the god who sent him he is not selling miracles he's not presenting you miracles he's presenting you the god of miracles somebody say yes lord anywhere in this whole building the saving power of jesus is there the healing power of jesus is standing near you right now by the authority that he vested on me i'm going to command that your salvation be sure and i'm going to say to god tonight my bible says he's able to save to the uttermost they that come to god by him just in case there's any sickness in your body he was wounded for your transgression he was bruised for your iniquity the chastisement of your peace were laid on him and by his stripe you have been healed i want to take authority and dominion if you can just place your hand wherever you have that sickness ears chest at me for a minute but be in the mood of prayer just look at me wherever you find the overflow hall the basement the top anywhere i am not the healer but i represent the healer jesus is the miracle worker he's standing where you are there right now yes sickness place your hand there your chest put your hand there your ears put your hand there your waist put your hand there your stomach put your hand there your mouth put your hand there your throat put your hand there your leg put your hand there if the whole body is full of sickness wrap your hand around your body i'm going to invoke the power of god right now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i take authority and dominion over the symptom of sickness and disease you foul spirit of sickness you kill the spirit of the enemy i assure you in the name of jesus christ of nazareth come out If he healed you, tell us what he has done. It's for God's glory. Yes, sir. What has happened to you, sir? I was here from the curve of the neck. Give God a big hand for that healing. <laughs> glory be to God. 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 Glory. Let me give us a big hand for his church of our brother. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Yes, ma'am. She should be healing. God speak it in the hands and she be healing. But for the first time now, she has a very pain that's failing. Yes. And I've been praying myself to God a yes. lot. And I believe in God. He touched it tonight. Yes. Because before I come in here, if they're going there, and you got to sit in here from this right here. Because all my body is here from, from God and Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Lord, we thank you. My friends, I think you should know this. This little girl had leukemia and was going to die. She was in a terrible state, and God mightily healed her. Mightily healed her. It shall not 
destroy this land. By the power and the blood of the land, you are healed and set free completely. Thank you, Lord, for your healing power. In Jesus' name, amen. Everybody say amen. I'd like to pray for that woman with rubber fan in her neck before we pray this prayer for the England people. Come here, ma. Yes, ma. I want God to give you your miracle first. Archbishop Benson Idahosa ministered on the mighty anointing. And the lame in By the midst. gift of the word of knowledge, he invited a sick woman in the crowd to step out for healing. For months, her neck had been in a band, but as the servant of God prayed, she was instantly healed. The neck band was removed. Glory to God. with loud voice, and the healing virtue of Christ touched your neck. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, you found destructiveness trouble. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Now be loose. You are set free. You are set free. You are set free. You are set free. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, neck you are healed. I command it. I believe it. <laughs> oh, boy, here, Mama. Marandolo, Mama, will say, Paraba. Yeah, take it right now. It's yours. It is done. In Jesus' name, lose and be healed. In the name of Jesus, rise up, you are healed. Your neck is healed. By the power of the Holy Ghost, rise up and be healed. In Jesus' name, remove your rubber band. The Lord has made you whole. I see the healing power of God. Throw it away, your neck is back to yourself. In Jesus' name, go in peace. Go, run back to your seat. Go back to your seat. You are healed in the name of Jesus. The sick Hallelujah. and afflicted flocked into the Royal Albert Hall in droves. Amen. Jesus go Christ back. of Nazareth showed himself alive Everybody by many infallible proofs. In the, in the name of Jesus Christ, of Nazareth, she is healed. She is healed in Jesus' name. Let every sick here, let every bound, let every afflicted, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, Lord, descend your power now, 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 now. Get up. In the name of Jesus, come on, This Indian man walk. had been in a wheelchair right now, for seven here. agonizing in years. Jesus name, he exercised out. his faith as the prayer of come healing out. swept the vast come arena. Out. He wobbled out of his wheelchair come all by himself. Come here. What joy! In the name of he Jesus, walked home get up. without get his up. wheelchair. Hallelujah. Walk. In Jesus' name, walk right now. 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 Walk now. Now walk in the name of Jesus. Walk, 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 walk there. Walk there. See. Rise and walk in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, be healed. Deaf ears open. Dumb tongue be loose. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Be healed in the name of Jesus. You are set free. Take your healing there. Take your healing. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Be set free. Be healed. Right now. In Jesus' name. Begin this young woman had stronger. never known come what here. walking is. In the name of Jesus Her feet of crossed and stiff. Come on, come on. She walk, marched walk in more. style to the platform. Right now. God is a healer Jesus. indeed. This way. This way. This way. Begin to walk better. 
I'm better. I'm better. I'm better. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Lamb of God. Glory to God. Glory to God. He is the Lord that He led thee. He bore thy grief. He carried away your sorrow. He was wounded for your transgression. The chastisement of our peace. We are laid on Him. And by His stripes, you have been healed. Hallelujah. Let Him begin to learn to walk with it again. Hallelujah. If you know the Lord has touched your body, come and tell us what God has done quickly. I want just a few testimonies. All who have been healed in the name of Jesus. Be loose. Be loose right now. Another Be Indian man in Jesus came name. with a Stop. torment in his life. For Quiet. ten years, he had been possessed with a spirit of epilepsy. He came to the platform, and the power of God seized him, and he fell down under the Spirit of God, and was totally delivered. Be loose! Be loose! Out of him! Out of him! Now! Out! In Jesus' name! You tell us, you tell us about him. This man had uh, epilepsy attack since a long time, near about 10 years. And praise God that he's released now and God had freed him from that epilepsy attack. And you have seen that his, he had been in the position of getting and God healed him. Hallelujah. Where is he from? He's from India. He's from India. He is here. Sister, rise up. You are free. You are free. Jump up. You are free. Get up. You are free. There is healing everywhere. Amen. The power of God is moving everywhere. Amen. And your neck, right now, in Jesus' name of Nazareth, you called, be loose. In Jesus' name, be free. Completely. You are set free. And now heal. Who brought this child? Come on, sir. What has happened to your son? Come and tell us. You are a steward in this meeting. Tell us what happened to your son. He has been having double vision. He's been operated twice. Operated He's twice. He still had double vision. Yeah. He's just been prayed for and now he says he has got single. I believe this message is blessing you. Please visit and share videos on anointedtube.com, the world database of Christian preachers, to help us reach 100 million people. The message continues after this video about Anointed Tube. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa 
America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preacher's pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. in how many years? In two years. She's been walking up and down here. For two years, Come on this woman had been living in a wheelchair. She came to the Royal Albert Hall late, so she was placed behind the platform. God's right. power to heal was everywhere in the sanctuary. Bless her. Oh. Make room. Are you her husband? Has she done in the wheelchair? Yes. Keep walking, love. Don't trip over the cable. Walk to Mr. Walker. Gradually, she abandoned her wheelchair, climbed the platform to testify what mighty things. Man, who owns this wheelchair? You. You. For how many years? Three. Three years. This wheelchair has been carrying you. Stay clear from the way, let her go without it, and let her use it as trolley. I'm going to sit down, you roll me. One of the most remarkable and outstanding miracles seen by man today was registered at the Royal Albert Hall. She had spent three cruel years in a wheelchair. But she knew her hour of healing and salvation had come. As Archbishop Ida Hosa prayed, she stood up immediately and walked across the platform in great joy. Yes, something else happened. The Apostle of Faith mounted the abandoned wheelchair and asked the healed woman to push him round. Yes, indeed. It was like Bible days again. Men and women shouted and cried, saying, we have never seen it in this way. The devil put sand. Don't raise your hand and sing, I surrender. Retaliate. Hire more servants. If your father's servants are too old, hire new servants. If only, if it's only one person God sent me here for tonight, 
go back home to that business the devil put sand dig it again to that marriage that the devil put sand dig it again if you put sand in your health dig it again if prayer can heal you get a doctor is anybody hearing what i'm saying don't say god has abandoned me church has abandoned me find your way back to the well take the sand out dig afresh and if your strength is not enough hire new servants yes it's bringing water waiting for you in the well that the devil put sand someone say yes lord don't take a no for an answer don't be too beaten down not to believe in getting up that's why there's healing when the body is weak that's why there's resurrection when the body is killed that's why there's joy when they're in sorrow that's why there's victory when there's defeat dig your well again and again and again and again until your enemy know you are not ready to surrender Hallelujah. yes ma yes ma I went home last night and all my back was aching and I've had it for years and God has released me right now God has released her praise the name of the Lord yes sir took away my pain from my shoulder all week I've suffered all week you have suffered now by the by the altar now he took away my pain it's gone hallelujah. everybody give Jesus a big and it's gone God is good hallelujah it's gone yes sir had backache and stomach trouble for how long many years many how many are many 15 15 years and now what has happened it's gone give Jesus a hand it's gone <laughs> yes ma oh my mom when I came in here tonight, I had a really bad pain in my stomach, but I have really felt the touch of the Lord, and it's gone now. It's just... gone. Give Jesus a hand. Glory to God. Glory. Yes, sir. Look at this one. I saw this handsome man heal. A young man indeed. 80 years. 80 only. You still have 40 years to go. Yes. I, I know that. I took, I took that from you last year. You took it from me you, last year. You said last year yes. you were going to live yes. 120 20 years. years that's if all. you could, I can. Yeah, I can. And I'm going to do it. <laughs> Everybody shout hallelujah. Yes, sir. So what has God done for you tonight? Well, an aftermath of shingles left me with intense pain all down this side. A growth in my ear when I asked the doctor about it I was told I said how long shall I have this yes he said for the rest of your life I've given away my tablets over there glory be to God let's give Jesus a hand it's gone hallelujah hallelujah he sighed yes this there is no better place where you can be than in his gentle care and at his feet for we can trust him to meet our every need you see Don't you want to stay close? 
shepherd to the shepherd stay close to his side he has everything you need stay close to the good shepherd Watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. Idausa is my father. My first encounter with uh, Archbishop Idahosa, he was doing a big crusade uh, in the center of Accra, which is called Circle. He said, if your faith say yes, God cannot say no. Idausa is a man that believe with God all things are possible. He had an unwavering faith. He had an unshaking faith. He had an unbreaking faith. He had faith in God. He saw God as he's talking to a faithful father. He saw God like his son will see a father who he trusts that is faithful. Whatever I ask my daddy to do, he will do it. That was Idausa's level of faith, beyond mass uh, explanation. He had faith. Spiritual a person, yet he was so human in nature. 
a man who reached out to everyone, the high and the low in society. A man who rubbed shoulders with presidents and the highest of dignitaries you can think of in society. I feel very blessed because the Lord has called me to preach the word of God in Africa and particularly in Nigeria. Um, I've been here with my husband 40 years now. Uh, it, it's a blessing and it's particularly been a blessing to work with Papa Idahosa and Mama Idahosa. When you talk about legacy, I remember traveling with Archbishop Idahosa to Kaduna for the consecration of Bishop Oyudepo. I think it's Faith Liberation Chapel. I remember it as if it is today. And the uh, Archbishop said, we are going. And when we got to Benin Airport, uh, Okada, uh, that's chief, Igbinidion had given him an aircraft. So we flew from Benin City Airport to Kaduna. And I carried, and it was there he told me, in the preach, he said, this is my son. At the point, at that time, I didn't really know Bishop Edipo. This must have been early in the 80s or something. And then many, a couple of weeks after, Bishop Edipo came to Church of God Mission Sunday evening service. And I remember the first message he preached. It was on the prodigal son. The man brought me out from the dungeon. Papa Idahosa was, he was a man full of energy and vision. Uh, he, he, he was always getting moving on from one project to another and often when he started a new project we whites we oebos would say why is he doing that we couldn't see the vision at all we thought hmm, this is very funny but then sometime later we would realize oh yes okay i see why he's done that now and i was a muslim that i gave my life to christ in Ghana, there was this kind of freedom of worship. There were a lot of Muslims. And among those people that were the grace of God, I gave my life to Christ. And I wanted to go to Bible school when I felt the call of God upon my life. And unfortunately for me, at that particular time, with the Assemblies of God Ghana, there was no space for women to go to Bible school. So my pastor called me and said, he wants me to go to Nigeria and meet with Indahosa because there is a room in that particular ministry for women. And I traveled to Nigeria by the grace of God. On getting there, I met with the Archbishop my first time of meeting the Archbishop Indahosa of Church of God Mission International. What an awesome privilege it was to see this man of faith and boldness. I will never forget the Onitsha Crusade. At that time, the head of state in Nigeria had passed the law that nobody should do open air crusades. And Archbishop said he went to pray and said, God, and God, what they are saying, and God asked him, what do you want? He said, I want to do crusade. God said, go ahead and do your crusade. So he sent us, I was part of the uh, advanced team to go and paste posters all over Onitsha. And we went to put posters all over Onitsha. And the first day of the crusade, a truckload of soldiers came. The man of faith, the man of prayer, the man of courage, the man of peace. And Archbishop mounted the platform, and, and the soldiers came with their guns. When Archbishop started preaching, they all put their guns down. When he made the altar call, they all raised their hands to receive Jesus as Lord and personal Savior. And we stood there, and the whole crusade was an eye-opener for us. And right there, I decided I needed to go and know more from this man. Fortunately, he was offering scholarship for people who want to attend Bible school in Benin, All Nation for Christ Bible Institute. And so that particular year, I uh, requested, I wrote, and fortunately, I was invited to come. So uh, we went to Nigeria to begin. Uh, my class, actually I went there in 79. My class started in 1980. And uh, we went through the Bible training. 
and it was powerful. We were all charged up. He started uh, the Word of Faith schools. He started the Christian Hospital, Faith Mediplex. He started Benson Niederhose University, all those. And well, he's, he's a man we can't, we can't forget. He was a great example to us. And I thank God. It's particularly good for us, whites, British, because in Britain, uh, people are rather skeptical these days. You'll not find many people who are really born again Christians. Um, people of faith are few in Britain. But if we can come here and our faith can be uh, increased, can be inspired, particularly by the things that Papa did, we are blessed. Let me share this. And I think for those who were around in Church of God Mission at that time, we traveled to Washington for Jesus. John Geminis went to Baltimore, flew to New York, and then flew to Lagos on Nigeria with 11 hours. And then we took Okada from Okada Air from Lagos to Benin City. It was bad weather. Brother, it was one turbulence I, I told God, as long as I'm alive, never let me face anything like this again in my travel. I'm sure Dausa and the wife Margaret were in the first class, which is only divided by a curtain, because it's a 90 seater plane. And we took off from Lagos to Benin. It was bad weather, raining cats and dogs. We rented a storm. There were Filipino pilots. And then they said that he has lost contact. The pilot said, listen, he has lost contact with Lagos. And so he doesn't know where he is. That is ridiculous. You are supposed to be taking us to Benin. So if you, the pilot, has lost contact and you don't know where you are and it's raining cats and dogs, what do you want us to do? And when I looked through the wood, brother, I was sitting at the edge of my seat like this. I was shaking in my boots. I'd never been scared like that. I thought I was, I, it, it was a life and death situation. The plane would move, dive, turn left, turn right. When I looked through the curtain, I was looking at the reaction of the Abishoy Dausa. We say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And then one time he stood up in the aircraft. He lifted his hand. I will never forget. He said, God, this is what he said. God, you called me and you didn't say I would die in a plane crash. My mission is not finished. My assignment is not over. We call the enemy to order and command the devil to back up. Now you pilot, you better find out where you are and take us to our destination in the name of Jesus. And he sat down. Five minutes time, the pilot said, he has made contact with Port Harcourt. Listen to this. We are supposed to be doing 30 minutes from Lagos to Benin. And the pilot, we, we landed in Port Harcourt. So we were under, we have lost our way. We would have ended up in the sea. I will never forget. We landed in Lagos. It was still raining. That is where the testimony is. Mama, I was there. You can ask her. I told Papa, can I please go for bus? Because I was afraid. Can we get a bus so we go to Benin? He said, no. James, you don't travel like I do. I must conquer the devil today in the air. I said, what is this? <laughs> I was scared. I said, Papa, you want us to die? He said, James, if I don't conquer the devil, I will not be able to travel by air. Okada gave us his gold-plated aircraft. He called him. The plane rolled out from the hangar and we went by air to Benin. And that Sunday evening, he made me go to church and give a testimony. He said, Ghana boy. He calls me Ghana boy. I came and said, give them your testimony. You coward. <laughs> Another powerful miracle was when the witches in the whole world decided to come and have a meeting in Benin City. And Archbishop said, not when he's here. There won't be any such meeting. The chief priest then was summoned. His name, Chief Ebohon, because he was a representative of the witches then. And he said, the meeting, nobody, not even God could stop the witches from meeting. Then daddy said, or papa said, 
Yes, God will not waste his time to stop you because I'm here to stop you. God has put me here to stop you. And guess what? That meeting never took place in Benin City. When you are with him one on one, you will feel an aura that defies definition. You know, it's as if you are in the presence of God, of a deity, of something that is beyond where you are. You know, uh, he never celebrated mediocrity. He never took no for an answer. He dared to go where nobody wants to go or everybody feared to go. He was a man that believed in venturing where others fear to venture. He was a trailblazer. I remember those days, for example, this television ministry that's becoming anything today. He does have started it in 1974, 75. I'm honored to have been one of his sons. And uh, by the grace of God, I think that um, that sign wonder anointing and his boldness. I was, I did a meeting for Dr. Maurice Serilo in 2010. And just before I spoke in his world conference, they said, uh, oh, miracles don't happen in America because they have a lot of doctors. It happens in the third world. Well, when I took the microphone, I just shared my testimony. 23 cripples gave me the Aztecs and began to walk. Um, that kind of boldness to decree and declare, I took it from the late Archbishop. I believe in the transference of spirits, and I believe strongly, like God told Moses, I will take up the spirit that is upon you, and I will put it upon the 70. I'm one of the people who took of that spirit of signs and wonders from the Archbishop. Making a movie of the Archbishop will really, really help the next generation. Because the young preachers and the young ministers that are coming up have no clue of who he was. It, I mean, he will still be preaching and cripples will start walking. Um, that was an awesome man of faith. I remember whilst we were in school, he went to visit and it was shown on TV. Um, he went to visit Kenneth Copeland. And when he got there, they, he was supposed to have gone the previous day, but he arrived late. So they announced, when they announced that the Archbishop Idahosa has arrived, six cripples got out of their wheelchairs. That is how anointed uh, Papa was. We must keep his legacy alive. Idahosa is dead to some people, but to us, to me, Idahosa lives. Hello, I am Bishop Margaret Benson Idahosa, the wife of the late Archbishop Benson Idahosa that did wonders while he was on earth here. Early in the morning when I rise, I will lift up my eyes. Now let me let you know how I got to meet him. You know, in those early years, he used to ride his bicycle with some trucks going from street to street, and one of it was my street. And every time he comes, we call him pastor. Pastor, he was young then, about 21 or 22. He was very, very young, but he didn't mind. He was not ashamed of the gospel because he knew that that was the power of God in his life. And one of these days he was riding past and people were crying in my house. Which I 
And he just stopped, brought his, brought his uh, small little Bible out and came in, just uh, uh, with it through the crowd. And he came and I said, Pastor, please, today is not like any other day. Somebody just died. <laughs> and he said, ah, I have been riding my bicycle all through. Till this time it was about four o'clock. And I want to raise somebody. I say, he please, I beg you. Don't don't make a mockery of your God. He said, No, 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 no. I want to wake him up because God has told me in the book. Then he opened the book and read it that uh, uh, behold, I have given you power to tread upon serpent, to tread upon scorpions and to raise the dead and i said listen don't make a mockery of yourself the kingdom of heaven is at hand heal that sick raise the dead i said what Benson, you mean what you say that we can raise dead person? Yes, absolutely. Have you raised dead person before? Uh, no. Why? What you say I can do it? Yes. In the name of Jesus. Hey. He said, no, 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 come and show me where the baby was. So I said, okay. I took him to the room where the baby was lying. It, it was she. She was about uh, three years old, three or four, four years old then. And I said, "Listen, this baby died at about nine, and it's about four o'clock now. The baby is already changing color. The fa why why he why she was not being buried at this time is that the father has to go to the secretariat to get a death certificate." And he said, oh, there's no need for that now. Let's do it. Let's do it. I said, how? How are you going to do it? And he said, okay, go out if you don't want to see, see me do it. But, uh, you know, as a stubborn child, then I stood at the, I stood at the door. I stood at the door with my back laid at the door. One, one eye on this side and one eye on the front door. And he prayed. Child. Be healed. I will bring to you an offering. After he prayed, he asked me, What is the name of the child? What is the girl's name? I said, It's Inwarata. I'm a living testimony. I give God the glory for keep counting me among the living today. I'm a testimony that the whole world know about through my father, late Ben Sinidahosa. I was sick about two weeks. After the sick, conversion hold me. So I, I, I died. When I died, they kept me inside one room. So my people was crying, weeping. About two hours, a bit three hours later, my father come, my late Benson in the house. He said, what is happening? He told him that her daughter, their daughter has lost. They said, what happened to her? He said, she was confused. So they tried the, in the ordinary native daughter tried, they can't raise her back to life. He said, where is her now? He said, she swam in there. He said, he asked my father the question. He said, daddy, do you believe that the God I serve can raise him come back to life. My father said yes. So he said they should take him to the room. Then take him to where they, they lie me down. So 
carrying in the way, praying with some of members. As they pray, with God that answered by fire, hear their prayer. I come back to life. Hallelujah! <laughs> Hallelujah! That is how I'm a living so today. And he just stretched his Bible and himself on that child and said, Inuata, I command you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that has empowered me to raise the dead. Now, come back to life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Inuata, I command you, rise up! I was just peeping. And all of a sudden, the, the child that died at about 9 o'clock slays. Another <laughs> <laughs> day died to me after a year and three months in the womb. So my mother passed through many tribulations before she gave back to me. Then he said, maybe I'm not a baby, I'm a wood, I'm this, but for God be thy glory. When they gave back to me, I'm, I'm a human being. And after they gave back to me, the devil, the useless man, raised up his ugly head to take my soul away. Do you know I took to my heels? I couldn't stand, I couldn't wait, and I ran out. <laughs> with him to the mother. He said, please give this child something to eat. And everybody was surprised. Everyone was shocked. Ah, and he just left. And when he left, I, I sat down and I was thinking, what is the thing that made this man to raise this child from the dead? There must be power. Super power. Then I wasn't a child of God. My mother used to serve, um, she was a princess of Olokun, Shango, and all that. And I said, oh, the, the, the power that raised this child from the dead must be a power that surpasses the power of these graven images that has no power. So the father just came and we started celebrating, but he was gone. But in the night I sat and I, I started praying and I said, God, if you were the one that raised that child up, just touch me. I have been hearing messages of salvation from here and there. Even the church I, 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 I used to go then, but I just knelt down and I said, Father, let Jesus come into my heart right now. And I need to know this power that raised this child. And that was all I prayed. I didn't know how to pray salvation prayer. But I just knelt and I said, Father, please, if you were the one that raised this child up, let come into my life and let me act and walk and believe like us. That young man that we call pastor believed, and he did this. And you know, when I finished prayer, there was an abundant joy, unspeakable joy in my spirit. And the following day, uh, we, we used to call him Brother Benson. He came and said, where is the child? We said, the child is there. And I called him to the room and I said, you know what I did last night? I didn't know. Uh, I, I don't know how to do it, but I just knelt by my bedside and I said, God, if you were the one that raised that child up, let me have a part of that power. I said, ah, you have done it. And I knelt down, he prayed, and I, and I said the, the sinner's prayer, and that was what got me into where I am now. And I'm glad. Okay, because I'm still alive, my father Benson Dalsa is still alive because I'm a living testimony. I'm glad that I, 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 I'm doing what I'm doing now because there was sign, 
there was wonder, there was, there, there was miracle that got into my heart. Thank God for today and my life. I have about eight children, two guests, and two boys and six guests. He was a man that did everything by faith. I have about 10 grandchildren to the glory of God. Now I understand the, the type of joy. The Bible said that the joy that no man can give, that is the joy that Jesus gives when you give your life to him. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures, click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures, click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. Thank you. 
Thank you for taking the time to watch this powerful video of Archbishop Benson Indaosa. Archbishop Benson Indaosa was a charismatic Pentecostal preacher. He is the founder of Church of God Mission International. Archbishop Benson Indaosa was popularly referred to as the father of Pentecostalism in Nigeria. And I would like you to know that he was also my spiritual father please do not forget to share this video to bless all the people let this video go viral remain blessed hello this video is about Archbishop Bensi Idaosa his early Christian ministry testimony as a young Christian, I once heard my pastor say during a morning service that Christians could raise the dead in the name of the Lord Jesus. I believe it with my, all my heart. And flying around on my bicycle in those days, I went through the city of Benin in Nigeria in search of a dead person to raise to life. After five hours of hard session, I found a company where a little girl had died a few hours before. The corpse had been cleaned and prepared for burial. I walked boldly to the father of the child. The God whom I serve can bring your baby back to life. I told him, will you permit me to pray for the child and bring her back to life? The man was startled, but he agreed. I walked into the room and up to the bed. The child was cold and dead. With strong faith in the Lord, I called on the Lord to restore the child back to life. I turned to the corpse and called it by name. Arise in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, glory to God. The corpse sneezed heavily. Alas, the child had come back to life. God is Bensi Indaosa. Now, Bensi Indaosa childhood. Bensi Indaosa was born in Benin City on September 11, 1938 to a pagan parents. He was a sickly infant who was always fainting. As a result of his constant illness, his father ordered the mother to throw him in the dustbin. When he was 18, year, 18 months old, he was left on a rubbish heap to die. He was rejected by his father, sent to work on a farm as a servant, and was denied education until he was 14 years old. His education was irregular due to the poor financial status of his parents. He later took correspondence course from Britain and the United States while working in Bather Shoe Company. His conversion and call to ministry. His conversion was drastic and his calling supernatural. He was converted by Pastor Akpos on a football field on one Sunday afternoon while playing soccer with his teammates. Thus, young Benson, young Benson became the first Benin member of Pastor Akbar's small congregation. As a young convert, he became very zealous in winning souls and in conducting outreaches in villages around Benin City. He was called to the ministry in a ninth vision from the Lord. I have called you that you might take the gospel around the world in my name, preach the gospel, and I will confirm my words with signs following said the voice from heaven the room was filled with the presence of god as benson fell to his knees before the lord wherever you want me to go i will go he prayed through the night renewing his vows to god and interceding for his people who were yet to hear the message of salvation after his call benson launched into ministry work preaching from village to village the gospel of, the, of, of Jesus Christ with great power and anointing. More people confess Christ as their Savior and more healings occur as he prayed for the sick. Expansion of his ministry and his credentials. Archbishop Benson Daosa, the Archbishop himself and the founder of Church of God Mission International Incorporated with his headquarters in Benin City, Nigeria, established over 6,000 churches throughout Nigeria, Ghana before 90, 
1971. Many of the ministers he supervised pastor churches of 1,000 to 4,000 people. In addition to filling the position of Archbishop of Church of God Mission, he also he, he was also president of All Nation for Christ Bible Institute, president of Idaosa World Outreach, and president of Faith Medical Center. He had positions in numerous organizations, including the College of Bishop of, Bishop of the International Communion of Christian Churches and the Ora Robot. Uh, university in Oklahoma. It also earned a diploma in divinity from Christ for the Nation Institute in Dallas, Texas, which he attended in 1971, a doctorate of divinity in 1981 from the World Faith College, New Orleans, and a Doctor of Law degree from Ora Robot University in March 1984. He also received another degree. He also received other degrees from the International University in Brussels, Belgium. Archbishop Benson and his wife Margaret Idaosa were blessed with four children. Idaosa Supreme Tax. So winning was Idaosa primary consign with a motto Evangelism Our Supreme Tax. He worked towards his goal of reaching the origin Nigeria, Africa, and the rest of the world with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. As a black African, he found the doors of African countries were wide open and he ministered in over 133 countries all, 123 countries all over the world. Crusade played a major role in his ministry. He was involved at least one crusade per month. A record crowd of nearly one million people a night attended his Lagos crusade in April 1985. He established the Redemption Television Ministry with a potential viewing audience of 15 million people. What leading gospel minister said about Archbishop Idaosa? According to Mrs. Gordon, Frada Lisser, President of Christ for the Nation Incorporated, Dallas, Texas, USA. I know of no young black in all Africa who is preaching, who is reaching millions as Benson is in crusade with hundreds of thousands in attendance in, in, a, in his weekly nationwide telecast, in his Bible school, training eager students from several nations. He also conducted campaigns in Sweden, Singapore, Malaysia, Korea, Australia, and United States, where he often appeared on national religious telecast. His burden for souls, his ministry of healing and miracles, even to the raising of several dead, demonstrate he is especially core of the Lord in this end time. Dr. Ben Akosa remarked, Benson Daosa is sought after by everyone in the state, from government officials to beggars. When they pose questions and explain their problem to this man, they receive instantaneous miracle solution, just as the people did in Bible days with God's prophet. The people got miraculous answer from, his, from this mighty leader of God's people said Daniel Oris. Benin City respect and salute this great man of God even at his death. I have been with him on visit to many officials, to the governor, to the powerful Benin tribal kings. He moved with God and his people knows it. His great miracle cathedral, his headquarters sit over 10,000 in 1981, his Bible school attracted upper class people from different African nations and also come from Maurice, India, uh, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Indonesia, Singapore, Philippines, Hong Kong, Japan, Korea, the Middle East, Europe, and other nations of the world. A truly international Bible training center of dynamic faith. People know that Bishop. Idaosa preached what he practiced. Dr. Idaosa's evangelistic ministry has reached nations around the world. 
He was the first Af black African evangelist to shake Australia in a massive crusade that got national attention. His seminars have affected Christians and church leaders in many countries. I sincerely salute this man because he practiced among his own people what he preached to the world. Bensi Indaosa was a man who believed God's promises and that God's miracle provision applies to Africans as well as to Americans. He believed that Africa has a part in God's work and Africa will reap God's blessing. Evangelist T. S. Bond from Tulsa, Oklahoma remarked, Many who followed Idaosa's teaching have been saved from poverty and have learned to plant out of their have learned how to plant out of their desperate need and to look to God as their divine source, thereby becoming prosperous Christian in their own land. Idaosa rose from the rank of an ordinary man to award leaders leadership as a pastor, a builder, a counselor, a prophet, a teacher, uh, an apostle, an evangelist, a man of godly wisdom and of Christ-like compassion whose ministry has blessed million, millions the world over. Idaosa was the greatest African ambassador of the apostolic Christian faith to the world. The secret of his success. Idaosa operated in faith. He had a robust faith. He believed and trusted God with a childlike faith. He once said that living a daily life of absolute faith in God is the only secret to great success. He believed God for everything. All things are possible to him that believes. He spent quality times in prayer and in the study of God's word. He said that if someone spent time studying the Bible and acting on it, people will come looking for that person for life solutions. He also, also spent time studying the works and the lives of other successful people both in the gospel ministry and other faith of human endeavors and he applied the principles he learned he learned from these successful people to his life and ministry he was very energetic hard-working one of the ministers who served under him said that he had never seen a man who worked as hard as Archbishop Benson Daosa he was committed and consistent and he had confidence in himself he was very humble and full of godly wisdom have bishop bensi idaosa was said to be the leader of over seven million jesus people worldwide before he went to be with the lord in february 1998 now i'm going to talk about his early ministry again as a youth, he got converted to Christianity by a certain pastor at Paul and joined the flagging congregation as one of the first members. He was very active and converted many to Christianity. After experiencing a revelation from God, calling him into ministry, he began to conduct outreaches from village to village before establishing his church in a store in Benin City. Archbishop Bensi Idaosa was well known for many notable quotable qu quotes, including, My God is not a poor God. Your attitude determines your, your attitude determines your attitude. It is more risky not to take risk. I am a possibilitarian. A big head without a big brain is a big load to the neck. If your faith says yes, God cannot say no. Among others, many of these messages on faith, miracle, and prosperity remain a classic among Pentecostal. He had strong links with international gospel ministers like Billy Graham, T.L.S. Bond, Kenneth Hagin, Penny Inn, Ryan Bonke, Maurice Cerullo, Ora Robert, amongst others, and took the gospel to 145 nations in his lifetime. At the time of his death in 1998, he had preached to more white than any black man and to more black than any white man. 
His desire to meet the need of the total man led him to establish several other arms of the ministry apart from the church. They include faith, metaplex, all nation for Christ Bible Institute, World of Faith, Group of School, Benson in Daosa University, which is currently under leadership of a son, Reverend E. F. B. Uh, Idaosa, his wife, Margaret uh, Idaosa, is the current Archbishop of the Church. It was used by God to perform many miracles, including healing the blinds, raising up 28 people from the dead at different times in his ministry. You must understand this powerful man of God that God used to affect the nation of the world. And I'm glad and privileged that he was my father in the Lord. I am honored to be a part of his anointing, a part of his, of his ministry. I want to ask you, please make sure you share these videos, this video, this particular video, to bless all the people. And make sure you have enough time to visit Anointed Tube, support Anointed Tube, and let people all over the world around you, your village, your town, your city, your colleagues, your family, your friends, all your contacts, get to know about Anointed Tube. So thank you for taking the time to listen to this or, or watch this video. I believe that um, your life can never remain the same because God's servant was such a powerful, powerful, humble, great man of God that God used before he was called to be with him. I, and I'll say it again, I am grateful and I'm privileged to be a son to our bishop, Bensi Indahosa. The Lord bless you.